Alrighty, um, another beautiful night, as we all know. Um, what a, it was good practice today. That was, I don't know, maybe our last, second to last practice in pads uh, for a while. Because when you get started for training camp, we'll be in uh, helmets for a while, I believe. So, I don't know, we'll see what Thursday looks like, if we're going to go in pads or not. Um, and then obviously Saturday being the game. So, but uh, it was good work. Guys worked really hard. Uh, had a nice turnout today. Um, saw Coach Lloyd got it out, got out here today, which was great. President Robbins got out here today. Um, all of our athletic directors were out here. Dave was out here, which is great. So um, appreciate everybody's support. So um, yeah, it was a good day, and uh, see what we have coming up for Thursday. Did you did you talk to the team at all about the Derek Chauvin verdict, and if so, what was the message? Yeah, uh, well, we, we have not talked about it yet. We have an opportunity tomorrow and We Educate Wednesday um, that we will have a uh, discussion regarding that. Um, obviously, from everything that, I'm, that I know or that I've seen, justice was served. And, um, but I wasn't a part of uh, much discussion today regarding it. Um, the team kind of got right to it in practice, and we're going to address it tomorrow. We have a plan of attack for tomorrow afternoon, and then also um, we'll be showing our guys something tomorrow evening as well. Well, we've always had We Educate Wednesday opportunities to be able to speak on different topics. We have a professor coming in from the law school uh, tomorrow that's going to talk on uh, different social justice issues and then obviously address that issue specifically, um, Dr. Tammy Walker. Uh, from our law school is going to speak to our team tomorrow. You know, we, we talked about that sense of urgency of getting as much as we can in. We added some individual periods today to really get drill work done, to really get these guys fundamentally as good as we can get them for this short period of time. Um, the competition message never changes. It's always going to be about competition. Um, we are going to obviously try to compete as many different times as we can as the practice is coming to a close for the spring. But this is just really phase two for us. We told them phase one was that win first program. Phase two is spring football. Phase three is everything they do in the weight room for the next nine weeks. And then phase four will be training camp leading up to obviously the season. So that's been our message. We're not going to rush it. We're just going to continue to build and build and build. Yeah, how do you assess your quarterbacks and how quickly they're seeing what they need to see and how quickly they're getting it? Yeah, they need to see it quicker, get it out faster. Uh, that's very normal when you're talking about a new offensive system. Uh, they still are trying to process every play call. They have to then get to the line of scrimmage. They have to see the defense. We're going against a complicated defense, so you have to kind of identify what you're getting and then make fast decisions. I have a lot more familiarity with this system than they do, so um, I would hope that I could see it a little quicker than they can, but my goal and Coach Doherty's goal is to be able to get them to see it at our pace. Um, that's the biggest thing as a quarterback coach that uh, Coach Doherty does an amazing job at is getting them to see the offense like a coach on the field. And if you could do that, then you could play um, with really great precision, and that's the key. Where do you think Will and Gunner have made the most progress since the start of spring? Um, honestly, I would say recognition of coverage and knowing where to go with the ball, recognizing um, you know zone versus man, two shell versus one shell, quarters versus cover three, whatever it might be, to be able to see it, recognize it, know it, and then make that decision. Now, every throw is not hit. You know, every decision is not right. But what they have done is taken big jumps in regards to recognizing coverages. Ideally, would you have liked to see separation like the quarterback emerge? I think you'd always like to see that. I think we were going in not thinking that was probably going to happen in the spring because of the fact that neither one had a foundation in our system. So we felt like as neither one have started games, Neither one have really had a foundation in what we're trying to get done. So for them, this has been like a massive immersion of football thrown into their heads. And we've tried to give them as many reps as possible to get them in this competition and see if there is a separation. Currently, there's not much. Currently, they're just battling back and forth, you know, and who leads the team, who leads the ones, who leads the twos. 
Um, really, we're going to look at it. I'll reevaluate it all this summer. Uh, we'll watch it as a coaching staff, as an offensive staff, and see who led the team down more. And then training camp, we've got another guy coming in and, you know, roll the balls out again and see what that looks like. But we got to make a decision at some point. We're not going to uh, – well, I don't know what we're going to do. So we're going to uh, do the best we can to get the quarterback ready to roll. How much detail do you give them in your post uh... – Spring practice analysis, and they know exactly what you want them to work on and prepare for getting ready for fall? A lot is what our hope is. Uh, we'll spend time with them individually. We'll spend time with them collectively. We'll have the opportunity when they're here in the June and July to spend a couple hours each week with them. We'll be able to really talk the specifics of the game, kind of go through a little quarterback school, um, and really rewind, right? Rewind, start over. Now take a deep breath. Okay, we've throwing a game plan or a playbook at you. Now it's time to, you know, take a step back. You don't have to jump on the field. And let's now go through it all and see if we can help you get better. All right, one more question, Joe. Does your approach change this week since it's a spring game? Do you kind of view this week as like getting ready for a regular season game? No, we're, we're, we're right now fully focused on just getting ready for tomorrow. Have great meetings tomorrow. We talk to the team. We've got meetings. Then we have We Educate Wednesday. That will run a little bit later tomorrow, and then we'll have Thursday, great practice, and then Friday we'll have a shift. You know, we've got all of our alumni coming in. We have over 200 football alumni coming in, which is super exciting to have something like that occur in our first year. We're thrilled about that. We know that we're going to play in front of a big crowd, you know, on Saturday. I told our team just now, there's a very good chance that we'll be playing in front of the largest crowd uh, in Arizona in a long time. So that's a lot of fun for our guys and we have to uh, appreciate that opportunity. And then um, we got to pack the house, man, come September. So we got to find every way, shape or form for people to be excited about our program and go out there and make this the best home field in the country. And real quick, um, what was the response like from the alumni when you kind of opened up the doors and allowed them to come back? They've been fantastic. I mean, I was told that we're almost uh, two and a half to three times the amount of they've had an alumni weekend ever before. So uh, the fact that we're up to 200 in, this, in the, these times is pretty awesome. A lot flying in. Obviously, the excitement of having Rob and Teddy here. But there's so many great alumni that have played here that are coming back. Um, excited the opportunity. I'm hopeful to see Lance Briggs. Hopeful to see Nick Folk. Um, talked to him the other day coming in from New England. So there's a lot of great guys and, you know, that are going to come back, and we're excited about that. But thank you, guys. We'll Thanks. see you on Thursday.